Okay, Shalom. I'm the brother Kadar Malak, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. I want to give double honors to my elders and the apostles, the great millstone who rule well, that taught me this truth. All right, and salutations to you brothers out there pushing this truth with all truth and sincerity to the house of David. Okay, um, it's a quick lesson I want to get into, man. All right, and um, basically, I don't know what I'm entitled with, but basically, it's about uh, it's been a lot of judgment. All right, it's been a lot of uh, death through the city. Okay, just seeing um, from from my personal view, man. Okay, it's been judgment, man. All right, the Lord, the Lord is a hey, He's making His return, man. Okay, and you can see it by just the judgment that's going on, man. All right, the Lord is cleaning up the house right now, man. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just jump into the scriptures. This is um the book of Amos, chapter three, verse six. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be e shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it?" Okay, so sh the scripture says, "Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it?" Man, okay, we're talking about the Creator of all things, man. Okay, everything that go on on earth, man, the Lord has something to do with it. Brother is good, brother is evil. Okay, so far as judgment, man. Okay, the Lord can jack anyone up, man. Okay, no one perishes being innocent. Okay, the, the Lord can uh, touch the uh, your loved ones. The Lord can touch um the young ones, the older. All right, because you got a lot of people out there, man. They, been, been under this Christian doctrine so long, all right, they actually believe, man, when it's some evil through the city, man, like, it's uh, the devil doing his work, man, when it's really the Lord, man, okay, should a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people shall not be afraid, should there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it, okay, jumping out of seven, surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but, re but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets, okay, because a lot of people don't understand what's going on, man. They just see uh, judgment. And they, they feel like it's Satan. They feel like uh, it's the devil. Okay? When the Lord is in control of both sides. All right? The scriptures say the Lord, but uh, he uh, revealing secrets to his prophets, man. All right? To those men on the highways and byways that you see. Okay? That's staying diligent, doing the work. That's who the Lord is revealing his secrets to. Okay? We understand what's going on. All right? That's why we're not going to... um. When we see these things, we don't go crazy. Okay, we understand it's the Lord doing these things. All right? The Lord revealed his secrets to us, man. Okay? Get this priest up. All right? Because, hey, man, the Lord been doing his thing, man. All right? I'm looking left and right, man. Hey, all I'm looking up, man. Uh... She died, he died, man. That's all I'm here. All right. All right, the Lord is fed up. Okay. Shall I think bear with me for a second? Proverbs 28 and 5. Alright, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 5. And it says, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Alright, evil men understand not judgment. Okay, someone that's not uh, into the scripture, or right, they're not putting their, uh, you know, um, they're not uh keeping the commandments. They don't they don't understand what's going on, man. Okay, the Lord de deal with a remnant. All right, the Lord is only dealing with the elect right now. All right, two thirds are gone. All right, whether it be uh, uh the younger ones. All right, you got older people. All right, they they, they just gone, man. All right. So evil men understand not judgment. Okay, they don't know um, when someone dies that that is of the Lord. Okay, how we just read in Amos. 
All right, the Lord revealed his secrets to his prophets. Okay, so if you're not one of the Lord, then you're not going to understand what's going on in the world. All right. And it says, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Okay. All right. That's what we're doing. We're seeking the Lord. All right. Uh, applying the scriptures to the best of our ability. All right. We're studying to show our self-approval. All right. Making sure our call and election is sure. All right. But hey, the ones that's not doing that, they're, they're, they're worthy of death. All right. And we all know when we're not perfect. Okay. But we rehearse the righteous acts, man, to the best of our ability, man. All right, Lord willing, we continue to endure. All right? But uh, hey, the scriptures say better is, better is a little righteousness than none. All right? You got people out here, man, they, they just, man, so far gone, man. All right? All right, but let's get, let's get back to the point that the Lord is jacking people up, man. And what our people don't understand, that it's the Lord that's actually... Doing the do killing, all right, and this and this is just on a small scale of what's to come, man. Okay, the Lord is hardening hardening our hearts, man. All right, making us numb to the pain, man. All right, because there's a lot of things coming. Okay, so uh, this is uh First Peter chapter four verse seventeen, and it says, "For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, and if it first begin at us." What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Okay, so the scriptures say, man, the, the, the judgment, man, the death is beginning at the house of the Most High. What's the house of the Most High? Of the Most High? The Israelites, man, us, our people, you black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, man. Okay, that's where the judgment is beginning. Okay, and it says, if it begin at us, what shall the end, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, all right, the scriptures say the righteous are going to scarcely be saved. Okay? Those that are applying the scriptures, those that are putting it all into the Most High, they're going to scarcely be saved. All right? And it says, um, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? All right, so how much more, if the righteous are going to scarcely be saved, how much more for you, you people that's, that's just not with the Lord, man, at all? All right, that's not even trying to please the Most High. All right? It's just off with your head, man, in that day, man. Okay, you're supposed to be turning back to the Lord, man, so you can escape these plagues, man. Escape what's to come. All right? Because, hey, man, you either with your hell by shimmy out with shot, man, or you're finished. Okay, the Lord is not having it, man. All right, it gets John chapter 15, verse 22. And it says, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. All right, so there's no cloak for, for um, our people who, who heard this truth or know this truth. There's no cloak. There's no excuse for them, man. All right, because you got a lot of people, hey, a lot of people, they, they are done because they heard the truth. All right, they understand. They, they they sink the truth. It was right in front of their face, man, and they got jacked up. They got judged, man. Why? Cause they didn't apply the scripture, man. All right, you can't just hear this truth and think you can just continue to live a wicked ass life, man. All right, that's the Lord called you out, man. The Lord said, "Hey, you are you going to get right, man, or get left?" All right, and you didn't want to play your part, man. The Lord put you to death. Okay, so now you have no cloak for your sin after you done heard this truth, man. Uh, hey, even you fallouts. All right. That's being a bunch of demons who was once in the truth or once went to the highways and byways and taught the truth. There's no cloak for you. All right. Let's get this next scripture. All right. Because a lot of people, man, they, they know this truth, man. They know this truth. They don't want to. They just don't want to apply the scripture, man. All right, and we're not going to weep for you, man. We're not going to cry for you, man. You heard the truth, man. It was time to get down, and you didn't. All right, you you didn't want to hear the hear, hear the words of the heavenly Father, man. Okay, this is uh, Isaiah chapter forty-five, verse seven. It says, "I form the light, and I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things." Okay, the Most High Yahweh forms the light. He create the darkness, he make peace, and he create evil, man. 
Okay? The Lord creates evil. Okay? You see all these things going in the world, you're like, man, um, a lot of people, they, they, they don't even believe, man. They don't believe the Most High uh, 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 um, work the way he works. Okay? They don't want to accept that. All right? But that's what it is. All right? The Lord creates evil, man. All right? I'm going to read it again. It says, uh, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace. I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. Okay? So the Lord is in control. Okay? He's controlling both sides, man. All right? Hey, like the scriptures say, man. Hey, um, wicked men understand not judgment, man. All right? A lot of people don't know what's going on, man. They wicked. All right? The Lord's not revealing no secrets to them, man. All right? Get this last precept. This is um, the book of Romans. Chapter 2, verse 11. Book of Romans chapter 2, verse 11. It says, For there is no respect of persons with Yahweh, man. Okay, there's no respect of persons, man. Okay, the Lord is not going to exempt you from judgment uh, because um it was your grandma, she was old, or it was your it was your young one and she was just a baby. The scripture said no one perishes being innocent, man. Okay, we have we have lives that were that were before these lives, man. Alright, that we have to um that certain people is gonna just have to pay for. Alright, Lord willing, we're not part of part of that. Alright. So someone can be getting judged for something they did in their past life. Alright? But there's no respect to persons, man. If you hear this truth, you know it's time to get down, man. That's just what it is, man. You have to uh, keep the commandments, man. Alright, the Lord, hey, the Lord judge nations, man. All right, the Lord is not just going to um, uh, say, uh, well, you didn't have to keep the commandments. I'm going to pull you to the side because you're old or uh, you're a young lady. No, man. All right. The Lord isn't for none, man. Okay, you just got to get down with your house by Yahweh Shah, man. Or it's just it, man. Okay. All right, so Lord willing, you people out there, man, the Lord put the spirit on you to repent, man. Okay, and get things together. All right, before he sent his son back to make his return, man, it's going to be utterly destruction. Okay, all right, so with that, give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, Bashem Rakakadash. All right, double honors to my elders and the apostles, great millstone. All right, salutations to you, brothers out there, pushing this truth with all truth and sincerity. All right, to the house of David. Okay, till next time, Shalom.